Okay, this is my, my farrier truck right here. I kind of put some stuff up. This obviously my anvil. It swings up underneath there. And I take it off this jack. It swings underneath there. This shelf here has just got like nails in there. Um, other things. It's made especially for farriers. And it's just a storage thing. There's some towels in there you can see now. I don't know if you can see up there, there's a bunch of hand tools for making horseshoes, things like that. Um, over here, this is a pad cutter. When I put a pad on a horse, I can use this and cut the pad. You've seen that before. It just cuts the pad. To fit the shoe so that's a pad cutter this thing here holds all my hand tools hammers tongs mostly hammers and tongs here's a four punch here's a critchel yeah. different things this is a drill press you've seen that before too when i put pads on it drill holes in the end of the shoe and make a rivet to hold the pad on this is a baldar grinder this thing here is for sharpening my hoof knife. This is it's called a Scotch Bright wheel. This is called an expander wheel. It's rubber. When I turn it on, it expands out and holds that belt on there, just so it sands. I can sand the end of a shoe. It's really aggressive. Here's my propane bottle. I have another one of these. I'm going to Lake Powell today, so it's at my house. But that runs my forge. This is my forge. It heats the shoes. It gets up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is my shoe and box that I put all my tools in. I tote around every, every time I shoe. This is obviously my apron. These are just miscellaneous shoes that have fallen off my shoe rack. This is a shoe racket. I drive on a lot of dirt roads and so they come off sometimes. Sometimes I put them back on, but they bounce off again. <laughs> this is bar stock. I make horseshoes out of. I don't make shoes every day, but I do make shoes. So that's the stock that the shoes are made out of. These are hot fitting tongs, just a pair of vice grips. They were really handy with that piece of bar still welding on. Obviously, this is a butcher block brush. It's for scraping the slag off the shoes. It's kind of like a portable shop. This here is an electrical cord. I use to plug in electricity. These lights are LED lights. I have three of them on here. They work really nice. There's the electric sockets right here. So I have power and down here. I forgot to tell you about this is a this is a pad rack and all my pads go in there. I put a lot of pads on. So there's all different types of pads. I like it. Anyway, that's about it. Huh? It's made by Stonewell. So they're in upstate New York, Giona, New York. So when I bought this this box this farrier's body i bought this truck in ithaca new york and they drove it to giona and they put this on the, my truck for me me and my son guy and my wife becky flew out to new york and drove this thing home it was 2500 miles home it was quite the trip so that's how it got here so thanks for watching today this is jason the farrier hope you learned a little bit of history about my family don't forget to like and subscribe we sure like your input on my channel we're excited to hear from you have a good day